So this one is a really good one. I heard that a detail company was up in Michigan and they did this to an attorney's bus and that got real expensive. A lot of these coaches have a black tank flush valve and if you don't have the valve open when you turn on the black tank flush, it's gonna flood a coach with sewage. Detailer hooks his hose up to that spigot and then comes back, hooks your hose back up and turns that spigot on thinking that it's your city water connection. He's gonna flood that coach with black water if someone isn't there to turn that off. I've seen it happen a few times and it's a crappy deal. Okay, I'm going through my list here. It's getting pretty mangled. We are at number nine on the list. So another thing that a detailer can do to cause damage to your coach is if you ask them to spray out your engine bay, you've got these radiator fins and they wanna get it as clean as possible, but if they get that power washer too close to those radiator fins, it will bend them. Now, there's also the engine bays of a lot of coaches. There can be a lot of electronics. And, ooh, this is my CPA. I gotta take this call. One of the stories that I heard. Now, this is a story that I heard. It's from a mobile detailer on the East Coast. And I'm gonna do my impersonation of the story that I was told. So yeah, we were washing a customer's engine bay. We power washed the electrical cords. The bus ended up burning down. It cost probably 90,000 in attorney fees. That's what I heard. Um, I don't know, you know, the extent, I don't know exactly what happened, but I guess some detailers power washed an engine bay and uh, burned it down and cost them 90 grand. Um, that's just what I heard, so. Here's it, could be true. But when it's coming from those guys, you never know. So another really common way a detailer can damage your coach, especially a truck wash on this one, is by acid washing your wheels. Your wheels are aluminum and they're very sensitive. A lot of the truck washes use acid because it's a really aggressive cleaner and just strips everything off of it. Well, if you have them acid wash your aluminum wheels, it's actually gonna strip that shine off and it's gonna make them look all white. This is how I like my wheels to look. I'm gonna walk around here and see if I can't find another coach that maybe they went through a truck wash. And I think that I spot one right over here. Oh yeah, I can see these wheels have been acid burned from like 50 feet away. This is what it'll look like if the truck wash acid burns your wheels. No shine left. They can be polished back out, but it is really expensive to do that. These last three items, I'm gonna let my buddy Brian tell you about. Brian was the guy in the Bowflex commercial back in the day. He is an actor. He currently does uh, star in some uh, commercials and has even done some films lately. But I'm gonna let him tell you. He details RVs every day like me. He's a longtime good friend of mine. And I will uh, let him tell you a few of the things that he's seen. He's been doing this for a couple years now, so he's seen a few things. And what, what were a couple of things that, that could damage a coach that you were just mentioning? Well, a couple of things that come to my mind, you know, more importantly, the, the, the quality of the water. Obviously, any good detailer is going to run their water through filtration to make sure they remove all the sediment out of it. Uh, you know, and, and they test that water. They don't just advertise they, they run spot-free water. They actually use a, a TDS meter that measures total dissolved solids that, that monitors the amount of mineral content. And anything over a couple parts per million, you really need to be careful because folks that, for example, come in off of a long haul and they have bugs on the front of their coach or windshield, they want to do a little... DYI, do-it-yourself cleansing on their rig, they oftentimes will hook up to just a garden hose. And, and the mineral content out of the straight tap water, especially folks here in Arizona, is some of the worst in all of our country. So just, you know, the water that you use is so, so important that a lot of folks don't recognize the value of just, if you're going to hire a company, making sure that they 
monitor the hardness of their water to make sure that there's no chance that it's going to leave any spotting behind. Absolutely, and I did a whole video all about why you should wash your RV with deionized water, and that goes into more detail about that. Um, okay. And then, so you were just mentioning the basement doors. So someone, it sounds like someone power washed the slide outs, and your client had water coming, flooding inside yeah. the coach, or? We actually had a customer about two weeks ago that had a 45 foot tag axle tip and fade, and whenever he, you know, he, he wanted to know if we want the slides in or out, and I told him, I said, you know what, it's, it's personal preference. I recommend putting the slides out. That way we can clean, uh, you know, the glass on the slides. We can really just do a real thorough cleaning when we're on the roof and get the slide toppers. But one thing he was really concerned about was water leakage. And what, what folks have told me is that if you hire a company that's not familiar with motor coach detailing, that they can get a little too aggressive when they're going about rinsing off the soap on the basement doors. And if you get... A, in certain areas, you can actually push water on the interior of the coach. If, if that happens, you could possibly be looking at repairing or replacing your flooring, whether that be hardwood, whether it be marble. So you really got to be careful that whoever works on your motor coach, that they take precautions and they know exactly how to go about detailing a high-end rig like that, or else they're going to be injecting water inside the coach. And, and really causing a lot more damage than they are benefiting the motor coach. Yeah, absolutely. And I can see what could cause that would be power washing really heavy around the seals of the slide outs, especially the seals below the slide outs. If you get too close, I could see water getting pushed up in there. Um, and then what else, what other things can you think of that someone might damage their coach, things that you could cause damage to your coach while washing your coach? Well, uh, one thing that, that I always practice daily is just repetitive cleaning of my materials that I'm using to clean a coach. Anytime you're decontaminating any surface, you're obviously removing those surface contaminants, and, and they do get embedded into your, your wash material. So uh, we always recommend using nothing but lamb's wool, synthetic lamb's wool, to wash your motor coach. But... What you have to do more importantly is making sure that those materials are cleaned thoroughly. Uh, even after just rinsing or washing the back end of a motor coach, a lot of times you'll get a lot of industrial fallout, brake dust, you know, things from the road that end up binding to the paint. And when you go to remove that, obviously it has to go somewhere. Sure, some of it encapsulates in the soap that you put on there, and some of it does rinse off, but the material you use to, to to scrub those contaminants is going to get embedded and it's very important to make sure that you're cleansing those materials frequently and checking those. I, I had a customer that called me after being burned twice. He hired two companies that claim to be experienced at detailing a motor home. And unfortunately, he received more damage to his, his rig than he had before hiring the company. What they do is, you know, some folks use a rotary type of system when they get into bumping, and it's a little bit, it's not just a little bit, it's way too aggressive for what you need to do to put a coat of wax on. Yeah. I was always taught to use a DA, which is a dual action buffer that has a clutch that will engage if you put too much pressure. I, I, I'm not quite sure what these folks were doing, but they put swirl marks and scratches in this guy's rig that were so unsightly and they just looked horrible. So, you know, you, you can have buffers, you can have waxes, you can have all different types of products that you purchase that claim to be good at what you do, but you really need to do your research. And I always tell folks, look for a company that specializes in motor coach detail work.